So many of you know that we recently hit 100,000 subscribers back in April, and that's just so mind-blowing to me. I mean, heck, we're at 130,000 now. What the heck? Honestly, none of this would have been possible without all of you. So to thank every single one of you, I'm going to be giving away 500, that's right, 500 pro-grade micro SD card for your Nintendo Switch. So all of you can double your storage and re-download any titles you needed to, I don't know, archive or delete to fit Tears of the Kingdom on your system. All you have to do is click on the link below, which will apply a $40 discount to any Voso One SD card. You can add the 64 or 32 gigabyte card to the card and proceed to check out to get those ones for free. You can also take that code and use it on any size micro SD card so you can get higher storage sizes for a pretty hefty discount. We will also select 10 people who get the 128, 256, 512 gigabyte card or any other product from the site to get a free Nintendo Switch online subscription and a secret surprise. They have fantastic accessories like this Tears of the Kingdom case or kit for people who couldn't get the special edition and even an 8-bit dough to connect a PlayStation or Xbox controller to your Switch. They also sell multiple do-it-yourself repair kits like this one to replace place any Joy-Con and stop the drift. So if you find anything you like, use my discount code PRIME to get 15% off any order. Also, if we get 2,500 likes on this video, Voso is actually going to add another 300 coupons to this giveaway. <laughs> Guys, that could be 800. Please keep in mind that we want the most people to get an SD card. So shipping is not included, although it's very cheap. And all packages will be sent individually. Once again, thank you for all the support. And let's get straight into this video. All right, folks, today we get to talk about some rather big news regarding Tears of the Kingdom. And it's honestly big news for Nintendo Switch in general, thanks to a very, very nice breakdown provided by a friend of the channel, Paul Gale Network. But first, we need to dive into what the actual big news is. And this has to do with sales figures for Tears of the Kingdom. Now, we've been covering the UK figures. We've been covering the Japan figures. We know it's been doing very, very well, basically staying at number one since it came out, only being knocked off at times like when Diablo 4 or something would come out just to bounce back up to the number one spot. It is doing things that Zelda games typically don't do. But... In the United States, we've had no sales figures until now because we get them a month later, about the middle of the next month, and the figures are in. Now, I'm getting this from Matt Piscatella over on Twitter, and he said The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom was the best-selling game of May 2023. This is here in the United States, becoming instantly the second best-selling title of 2023 year-to-date. You hear that? Instantly the second best. Who knows what it is? by the end of this month. And this is despite only physical sales from Nintendo being included in the best-selling title charts. That's right, Nintendo does not provide digital sales data here in the United States, meaning that this is absolutely massive, that it is the second best-selling title and the number one title in May. Just utterly incredible. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild also happened to return into the top 20 chart in May, placing 13th after being at number 28 in April. Now, this is where it gets crazy as well. Video game hardware spending increased 56% uh, year over year to $338 million in the month of May. This is the highest video game hardware spend for a May month since the $427 million reached in May of 2008. So May was massive, and yes, Tears of the Kingdom is a big reason why. We'll have to see in a moment. A double-digit percentage growth in both PlayStation 5 and and switch dollar sales offset declines on other platforms the you know xbox year-to-date hardware spending is now 23 percent higher when compared to the same period in 2022 already reaching 2.2 billion dollars but here is what tears of the kingdom did for switch's sales switch was the best selling hardware platform in both unit and and dollar sales during May 2023. Consumer spending on Switch hardware reached an all-time May high for the platform. 
Unit sales were actually only the second highest ever for Switch in a, a May month, trailing only May of 2020, which you guys remember. Pandemic, Animal Crossing, etc., etc., etc. So it is the second highest May ever, which is absolutely insane. Now, for all of that good news for Switch, PlayStation 5 does continue to lead the overall 2023 hardware market across both unit and dollar sales. Obviously, Switch is not going to catch it in dollar sales, but... It might not catch it in units either. You know, they don't have a Zelda-like game dropping every month. But it is nice to see that a game of Zelda's caliber can just take Switch all the way back to the top. Now, if you want to know how impressive it is for Switch to be back in the number one spot, uh, Paul Gale never did a nice little breakdown here. He said, for the 75 months beginning March 17th through May of 23, this is how many times each console has been the best selling of the month in the U.S. The Nintendo Switch did it 55 times, PlayStation 4 did it 11, and PlayStation 5 did it 9. Nintendo Switch has also won 22 of the 31 months available against PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series. PS5 has won 9 of its 31 available months. The record for consecutive months in the United States that a home console was at number one it has the Nintendo Switch with 33 months going December 18th all the way through August of 2021. PlayStation 5's four consecutive months were from August 22 to November 22. Nintendo Switch competed against the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One for 44 months, three years and eight months before the latter successor's arrival. Nintendo Switch has now been competing with PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X for 31 months, two years and seven months, and come July 31st, 2024, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series will have been selling along the Nintendo Switch as long as Nintendo Switch was to the PS4 and Xbox One. That does mean if, if the next generation Nintendo platform does not launch until, oh boy, holiday 2024, the Nintendo Switch technically will have existed on the market longer against PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series than it did against PlayStation 4 and Xbox One respurring the debate on whether or not switch was the first ninth gen system or really is just a replacement for the wii u's failure in the eighth generation but that is a debate that we can't have yet because we don't know when the next platform is coming for may nintendo switch sold and generated the most revenue tears of the kingdom was the best selling game of the month and not including digital it's already the second highest selling piece of software for the year and if you include digital it's clearly 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 going to be number one so all of this is just utterly insane and it just shows not only the power of zelda right obviously tears of the kingdom doing these big numbers is just wow like we knew how big the numbers were elsewhere we didn't know in the united states it's massive but obviously seeing the nintendo switch pop back up it kind of shows that switch still has some life in it uh now software sales wise switch has never really slowed down there hasn't been any indication that people that own switches are done buying games and while we did get at the uh shareholders meeting you know shintura furukawa reiterating again that he does not expect switch to continue its momentum he does think that switch sales are going to be down this year he doesn't think it's going to be able to hit their target of 15 million reality is that that doesn't mean that he doesn't think software can't sell and we've seen consistently as New Switch game after new Switch game after new Switch game has come out just this year, starting with Fire Emblem Engage, that people continue to buy games in a pretty big volume. And I would suspect Super Mario Wonder and maybe even Super Mario RPG to both sell incredibly well this upcoming holiday period. So Nintendo is in a good spot when it comes to software sales, but obviously they know that there will eventually be a slowdown in software sales and maybe they're predicting that to be more of a 2024 problem rather than a 2023 one. They predicted to start seeing issues with selling hardware this year and maybe software will be predicted next year. And that's probably when Nintendo's like, hey, we got to get something new out the door. That being said, folks, I'm really excited by these numbers. Good job, Tears of the Kingdom. Man, it is my favorite game of all time. I stand by that still to this day. And I will be live streaming Tears of the Kingdom tonight around 8 p.m. Central Standard Time because I haven't streamed it in a long time. I haven't beat the game yet. And I'm just curious to see how many of you guys want to tune in and watch my adventures continue in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs>